said to our team, come hell or high water, we were going to start tonight, six o'clock on the dot. So apparently on the highway, we had some hell and some high water. But honor Drabonim, members of the Diplomatic Corps, and our dear friends, welcome to the 18th APSA Jewish Achiever Awards. This year marks 175 years of organized Jewish community in South Africa. And what a remarkable 175 years it has been. Our ancestors came to this country building to, looking to build the Golden Medina. They escaped persecution in Eastern Europe, and they came as laborers and gold miners and farmers. And they were smosers in the Cape, and they were peddlers in the Patalan battling to survive. But through communal efforts, through hard work, through sweat and toil and dedication, they ensured that their children would, be a, would become accountants and doctors and lawyers and entrepreneurs and professors and artists. And their children are sitting in this room tonight. We as a community are inseparably bound by a common past, and we jointly are sharing a common destiny. Who could have imagined 175 years ago that Joe Slovo, a little Yiddish Bundist from my shtetl of Abel in Lithuania, would in fact foster a revolution and be joined by Goldberg and Goldreich and Walpi and Bernstein? And maybe who could have believed that people would be blown up like his wife in Mozambique grew first, or Albie Sachs would lose an arm and later be joined on the bench by people like Arthur Chaskelson and Richard Goldstone. On those dusty roads that the Samosas traveled, who could have imagined that 175 years later they would be reading Nadine Gordimer and listening to Johnny Clegg and laughing at Peter Dirk Ace? While studying Talmud in their little shops in towns that no one had ever heard of, who could have predicted that Philip Tobias would be digging up the cradle of humankind, or people sitting in this room would be building empires like Bidvest and Breweries and Sun International and Glencore and Amdocs and Pick and Pay and OK Bazaars and Liberty and Discovery? Who could have imagined that 175 years ago? Who in their wildest dreams, while carrying coal in the Free State, could have dreamt that a group of penniless refugees escaping persecution would be able to tell a story tonight, a story of how to ignite a nation. What an inspirational and extraordinary story of our history. And we at the South African Jewish Report newspaper are there every week telling that story to and about our community. We have thrived as a community in South Africa. We have built institutions and welfare organizations. We have built security organizations and orphanages and ambulance services, soup kitchens. We've built schools and we've built yeshivot. And we've reached out as well to the broader community and built organizations like Operation Hunger and Africa Tikkun. And every year, we gather here at the Jewish Achiever Awards and we tell our stories and we reflect as a community and we hope that our lessons and our successes and our struggles for survival will in fact ignite fires in other people. At the Jewish Achiever Awards 2016, we welcome 10 new winners into our fold. All money raised tonight goes to support the free publication and distribution of the South African Jewish Report newspaper, the only national newspaper of our community and dare I say, the only actual newspaper of our community. I'm proud to say that today, 85% of all Jews in South Africa either read our hard copy edition, our website, or receive our weekly email. Our board is young, enthusiastic, and absolutely determined to make a difference. But the world is changing, and media too is changing and yet we keep on growing our newspaper, more and more readers every single week. So tonight, we say thank you. We say thank you to all those of you who have bought tables, 
who have sponsored awards, who have taken out advertising in our magazine and our newspaper, those who have joined our organizing committee or our board. We say thank you to those who gave of their generous time to sit on the four panels of judges. We say thank you to Gar Garen Chaitovitz of Grant Thornton, who audited all the results. All of you are selfless and dedicated, but none more so than two individuals, Jeff Rothschild and Solly Kramer, who have gone out of their way, way beyond any reasonable degree of expectations. Gentlemen, thank you. This year, we are delighted to welcome Richmark as a new sponsor of these awards. They join our dear friends at APSA, at Shivers, at Europe Car, at Kia, and the Creative Council. Our community recognizes you, thanks you, and embraces you all. I want you to know that our association with APSA, now in its bar mitzvah year, in its 13th year, APSA is our principal sponsor. Our relationship is deep, it's warm, and it's personal. APSA are our backstop, our brothers, and our backers. We have no doubt that everyone in this room will continue to support APSA and thank them reciprocally for their generosity and warmth to our community. So to Maria Ramos, to Dave Hodnett, to Craig Bond, to Nomkita, to Roy, to Happy, Jan, Barney, Mark, to all of you, you forever have the loyalty and respect of our community. A huge thank you to our professional staff, as well as to our volunteers, most especially Dina Diamond and Jody Kramer. But if there's one message, one short message in conclusion, I want to leave you with tonight. It is the fear that I have that today our country, in fact, sits precariously balanced on a precipice. The struggle against greed, corruption, and cronyism should be each of our struggles. We cannot sit idly by while the hard-earned benefits of our democracy and liberation are whittled away. Each of us must understand that each rand stolen is a pension that does not get paid. Each rand stolen is a house that does not get built. Ours is a community that has prided itself on its opposition to apartheid in the past. We cannot now remain silent in the face of the moral decay in our country that is destroying this nation. It is time for all of us to stand up. And so tonight, we plan on telling some inspiring stories. But there is one story, a story that should never be forgotten. This year, we lost one of the founders of the Jewish Report newspaper, an icon of our community, and one of the most remarkable South Africans. This year, we lost Bertie Lubner, my colleague, my friend, my mentor. Bertie Lubner passed away after a lifetime of giving. His history is the story of how each person can make a difference to the world. Tonight, in his honor, we will be dedicating the Lifetime Achievement Award in his memory and honor. So I say to all of the nominees and winners here tonight, Mazal Tov to you all. May your story and the stories we tell tonight, and most importantly, Bertie's story, may all of them ignite the soul of Africa. Good night, and have a good evening.